Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I wish you all a very very happy and a Merry Christmas in advance. Stay home and stay safe. Today's recipe is very very chocolatey and amazing. It's a foolproof recipe. If you want something eggless for Christmas, this chocolatey dare in the Christmas cake is your thing. I'm also going to show you how to make frosting but all of these without egg or microwave or oven and you also need no whipping cream, no blender, no tools for the frosting. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon for notifications. And you can also watch all these recipes in Telugu and I'll link it in the description box below. Firstly, in a large bowl, I'm taking half a cup of curd and the same quantity of powdered sugar. Now, this recipe is mildly sweet, so the cake is not too sweet. If you want it to be sweeter, then you can add more sugar according to you. And I'm going to blend all of these very nice and fine without any lumps. So the key to making a nice smooth cake, a fluffy cake, is to first have all the powders blended very nicely and also you have to sieve them. That way you get a very nice fine powder. Now to this I'm adding half a teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. I'm taking two small dairy milk packets and uh, oh my god just look at that I have melted it and I'm adding it to this batter oh god just look at the chocolate this cake is gonna be extremely delicious I just loved it so much now just whisk it again so that it becomes a nice homogeneous batter So just revising what all we've put in this, it's curd and sugar in equal quantities, baking powder half a teaspoon, baking soda one fourth teaspoon and also some molten chocolate. Now rest this for about 5 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll set our oven ready <laughs> and by oven, I mean it's a pressure cooker. So I've taken a very large pressure cooker. And then I'm just adding a small tiny plate for height inside it and you have to remove the whistle and also the gasket now some recipes uh, require you to put salt or any sand inside but there's absolutely no need for all those just keep it on a low to medium flame for about 10 minutes your oven should be ready and now after 5 minutes in this batter, I'm adding 1 fourth cup of oil. Now to get that eggy consistency, you need oil and curd. So these two are the things that give you that eggy consistency in a cake. Now I'm taking 1 cup of maida that is all purpose flour and then I'm sieving it. And sift it without any lumps nice and fine you see the lumps just get them out of it and now comes a very very important process you have to fold it gently don't overdo or mix it because the batter will lose its fluffiness I'm also adding milk little bit of milk and a whole lot of fresh cream from the milk to add an extra creaminess so your key should always be folding the batter so that you are incorporating the air and it's not losing its fluffiness now the batter is ready it's airy and moist and nice so easy right if you feel the need to add more milk and make it a little thinner you can add it at this point but little by little so I'm taking a flat bottomed steel pan 
and I've greased it with butter and I'm adding the whole batter into this and we're gonna keep this bowl into the pressure cooker that is our oven for now and we're gonna bake this now our batter is ready just tap it very gently and then I'm just smoothing it out with a flat spatula so after 10 minutes our oven is ready and hot and now place this bowl over the plate inside so that the plate acts as a stand and again you need no gasket and no whistle just close the lid and bake it on a low flame for about 40 to 50 minutes and now after 40 50 minutes our cake is perfectly ready it's golden brown oh god it's soft and fluffy it's just perfect now insert a toothpick and see if it comes out clean then your cake is perfectly ready Ta-da! and our cake is ready I know it's difficult to wait but just scrape the edges and the cake has to cool down before you eat it or you do a frosting now if you just scrape the edges what happens is the air goes inside and to the bottom of the cake and it becomes very easy to remove it later you know the drill how to get the cake out so just turn it over just tap it gently and that's it oh god just look at the color it's so perfect so nice and now it's time for frosting and for frosting you don't require any blender or whipper or whipping cream or cream whatsoever we're going to do it with maida that's right so I'm taking one cup of maida I'm making a lot of frosting so that I can store it in the fridge and use it for other recipes too now because we are using maida it has to lose its raw flavor so I'm adding one cup of powdered sugar to this just roast both of these on a low flame for about five minutes don't let it burn don't let it change its color if you want more sugar you can add more sugar I'm adding half a cup of cocoa powder to this now roast all of these and then I I'm adding about three cups of plain water to this make sure that there are no lumps and that's a little difficult process but make sure that the frosting is very very smooth you should not have any lumps so add the water gradually little by little and if you keep it cooking then uh, it becomes thicker so even if you make it a little thinner it's fine to this I've also added some kisses to increase the chocolatey flavor and then our frosting is ready just let it cool for some time and then I'm just removing the top layer of the cake to make it even and nice just do some finishing job there and oh god just look at that our frosting is smooth it's nice and very fluffy and beautiful now most of the times we do not have whipping cream we do not have a blender or you know uh, the whipper with us and even though if we have all of these it becomes very difficult to get the perfect consistency but this frosting recipe is foolproof you get the perfect consistency and it also tastes amazingly delicious now our cake is ready it's a tiny mini cute cake I'm decorating it with some balloons and some pillows and also lots of kisses and dairy milk now do give this recipe a try because uh, it turned out to be perfect 
very delicious and you don't have the eggy flavor in that because we are not using any egg and once again i'm telling you i've made this cake mildly sweet because i'm avoiding sugar these days so if you want that perfect sweety sweety cake just increase the amounts of sugar and also while making the frosting just make sure that the maida does not have any raw flavor so just roast it on a low flame and that's it our cake is ready it looks so delicious and so perfect the number one is because I've made this cake for the first birthday of my channel. If you haven't yet watched my birthday vlog, just click the link above and it will take you to that video. So finally our chocolatey dairy milk kisses cake with frosting is ready. Do give it a try and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also do check out my Telugu channel that's in the description box below. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.